After destroying the Oregon Ducks in the Coliseum, the USC Trojans now take their show on the road in a Pac-12 matchup against Fresno State. Now, two years ago when we went up to Fresno, we needed a late fourth quarter route in order to blow them out and secure the victory. We're not looking to do that this time. Fresno State sitting at one and three, 0 and two in the conference. And we're looking to take advantage of that. We still don't have a USC Trojan that's in the run for the Heisman. But this guy right here, Adam Gibson, this cat has been beasting all season. A senior running back looking to run the table. But eventually, we're looking to get Hatley on that list. But let's get on with the game. First play of the game. Fresno State is running a safety blitz. Hatley sees it. He finds a wide open Brandon Jackson all by himself. Breaks out of a tackle. Look how those two defenders collided with each other. Touchdown. USC Trojans. That's how you start off a game, baby. Let's go. And then look at this. Oklahoma got Texas again. They got them again in the Red River shootout. Texas can't catch a break. Here goes Fresno State on their first drive. Tommy Robeson is back, and he finds Jesse Jude breaking two tackles, 25-20. Brought down by Adrian Carter at the 20-yard line. First down for the Bulldogs. Next play, Tommy Robeson finds Mike Singletary. Singletary tells him to get back. Second and 11, Thompson in motion. There goes Albert Thomas, and he got destroyed by Ronald Freeman. Third and one, and I don't know what that was. That was a hell of a glitch right there, but first down, Fresno State. Second and goal, Robeson. Plenty of time, but he gets sacked. Johnny Mullins with his first sack of the season. Was that his second sack of the season? Johnny Robeson on third and goal. Sack, David Wright, what a play there. Wright's been big for us so far this year. Then on fourth and goal, Dan Barnes with the spin move. He says, let me get in some, some of this action. Tommy Robeson sacked for three straight plays, and the Trojans have the football, and we cruising. Isaiah Hatley stepping out. I'm out of here, he says. First down. First and ten for the Trojans. Hatley finds Tyler Stewart. Still what tries to do a spin move. Gets a 16-yard gain. First down Trojans. Second and seven. Brian Gordon. Look at the commissioner. Finding a hole. Getting a seven-yard gain. First down. Next play, Patrick Myers is in the game. And he gets sacked. So now we have second and 19. Hatley's back in the game. Hatley steps back to pass. I don't know how he caught that, but Stanley Morales... Hauls that in for a 26-yard gain. And then to close out the drive, we have Leo Ward. Trojan touchdown. This is USC football. It gets no better than this. We're up 14-0. Then here goes Hatley again. Fresno State did absolutely nothing on their next drive. So here we go again with the Trojan offense. First down and 10, play action pass. Look at Kenneth Smith, that red shirt sophomore. He can do it all, people. He can do it all. Next play, Hatley steps back, pops it at the last second. Kenneth Smith, touchdown, USC Trojans. Fresno State has to pass the sticks. They're down 21-0 after just one quarter. We cruise in that first quarter. We're just cruising like Will Smith, and we're showing no signs of slowing down. Here goes Robeson stepping back to pass. Guys, plenty of time to write his letter to his moms. And he finds, who was that? That looks like Josh Ginn. And there's a first down. First and 10, Robeson again. There goes Josh Huff. He gets horse collared by Santana Perry. But thank goodness that that rule is not enforced when this game first came out. There goes Robeson again. How did he break out of that sack? I do not know, but he finds Tyler Clemens, and we have third and six. Robeson again trying to look for Josh Huff, but that pass is broken up. So the Fresno State Bulldogs settle for the field goal, and the lead is now 18-21-3.
Now it's called special teams for a reason. It, you have to have special players. Look at Stanley Morales, 35, 50, pushed out of bounds. Great return there. Play action pass by Hatley. He finds Brandon Jackson downfield. He breaks a tackle. Gets down, it looks like, to the 27-yard line. We cruising. There goes Leo Ward finding a crease, and he gets an eight-yard gain, second and two. Next play, Leo Ward, this time he moves to chains, first down. Next play, first and ten, the commissioner. He's back, and he finds the end zone yet again. That's his fourth touchdown in two weeks. We're leading 28-3. Let's go. Here goes the Fresno State Bulldogs back on the field. Tommy Robinson finds Thompson. Thompson gets a big game there. First and 10. Robinson. Screen pass. Look at this play by Albert Thomas. He breaks two tackles. Does an unnecessary hurdle. And he's going downfield. Gets hit at the 12. First down. Fresno State Bulldogs. Tommy Robinson stepping back to pass. Has plenty of time to throw. Albert Thomas, their best player. Finds him second and four. And there goes Albert Thomas again, into the drive for the touchdown. Fresno State is finally on the board. But here comes Leo Ward. Tackled at the 45, first down. Leo Ward again, weaving through traffic. 15-yard gain. He's running hard today. After not getting much at you from last week. But here comes that commissioner. He got blasted on that play, though. Next play. Hatley steps back and pops it to Stanley Morales. 20-yard line, first down. And there goes Hatley again. Look at that back shoulder pass from Hatley to Tyler Stewart. Perfect pass. It doesn't get any better than that. But then we put in Patrick Miles. He finds Brandon Jackson in the end zone. Touchdown. That's Jackson's second touchdown of the day. The best tight end in the country. No doubt about that. Eric Thomas. Should have picked that pass off there. Fresno State goes for on fourth and three. And they get it. Josh Ginn. First down, Fresno State Bulldogs. Then Robeson again on first and ten. Finds Spencer Gooden. Taken down second and one. Robeson. Handoffs to Albert Thompson. And again, he bodies Ronald Freeman. On fourth and goal, they didn't do nothing on second and third and goal. And they get the field goal, and we go into the halftime break, 35-13. to 13. Now it's on to the second half, third quarter. And look at that, another screen pass that gets broken up by Cole Sanchez. Cool Sanchez. Third and 13. Robeson gets sacked again by David Wright. That's his second sack of the game. The front four is beasting today. Next play. Hadley looks back. That was a bad read by me, but look at this. Look at Arthur Parker bullying three defenders and catching the ball. Unbelievable. Isaiah Hadley, you have weapons on top of weapons, homie. And then on first and goal, Stanley Morales ends the drive with a touchdown catch. Seven yards out. It's 42 to 13. The route is on. There goes Steve Tatum with another sack for this USC defense. And now they're facing second in a mile. Robinson steps back the pass. And he finds Thompson. Josh Thompson. They got a lot of Joshes on this team. Then in third and four. Robinson. Another screen pass to Albert Thomas. Uh, yeah. And then Steve Tatum breaks that up. So we got first and ten. Look at Leo Ward. Nothing up the middle. Takes it outside. House call. Touchdown, USC Trojans, 35 yards out. Leo Ward is finding that rhythm. He's finding his form now. There goes Albert Thomas again on another screen pass. That goes nowhere, so it's second and 14. Second and 14, there goes Albert Thomas. He gets all those yardage back. 15-yard gain. First down, Fresno State, and they're on. Robinson again. This time he finds Josh Thompson. Tackled by Dan Barnes. 25-yard gain. Second and 11. Albert Thomas. 
bullying his way inside the five. 16-yard gain. First and goal. Good Lord. Next play, there goes Robeson. He finds out, but Thomas, a missed tackle there. Touchdown in Fresno State. It is now 48-20. to 20. But here comes the USC offense. There goes Tyler Stewart with a first down. Hadley on the play-action pass. Look at Kenneth Smith. 34-yard gain. Kenneth Smith is good, man. But then here comes the commissioner. Maybe he should have kept going outside, but he tried to cut inside. Six-yard gain. We got 30 inches. Leo Woods back in the game. Look at that juke move there. He made that defender fall. My God. Oh, God. First and 10. Hatley rolls out like ludicrous. Finds Jackson for his third touchdown catch of the game. Third quarter is over, and it was USC off the top rope in Fresno. And we go into the fourth quarter. Robeson steps back, pops it, finds his favorite target, their best player, Albert Thomas, as he breaks like three tackles, 10-yard gain, first down. Robeson, first and 10. There goes Spencer Gooden again. Tackled at the seven. We go to third and goal. Tommy Robeson takes the snap. It's another screen pass. This time it's to the fullback, Jones. Kelvin Jones loses a yard. So now they got fourth and goal. Who? That's Thompson in motion. And look, Robeson steps back to pass. Touchdown. He finds Brandon Huff. And look at this. Fresno State goes for an onside kick. And they get it. <laughs> now, Tommy Robeson steps back to pass. Fresno State looks to keep it going. But Brandon Dixon is straight player hating. Cuts that player. Goes down 40. 35-30, 25, pushed out of bounds inside the 25. Brandon Dixon has been an interception machine since the day he stepped on campus. There goes the commissioner running over a man and getting to the 15-yard line for a second and three. Next play, there goes the commissioner again. Brandon Gordon getting a three-yard gain. First and 10. Hadley steps back to pass. He finds Arthur Parker. Parker gets baptized there. First and goal. Hadley slants up for the right receivers. And Tyler Stewart catches another touchdown for the Trojans. 61 to 27. We cooking. Third and 10 for this Fresno State offense. Robinson steps back to pass. And there goes another interception. This time is Dan Bones wanting in on the fun. He already has a sack today. And now he has an interception. Great game there. For Dan Bourne, seven tackles, one interception, and one sack. Second and ten, Hatley finds New <laughs> Dotson. Player hating with that interception in the end zone. Albert Thomas meets Eric Thomas for no gain or gain of loss, excuse me. And then there goes Ted Miller, red shirt freshman. He wants in on the action. That's three interceptions for this Trojan defense. The Trojan defense has been on it today. Everybody getting sacks. Everybody getting picks. Next play, we look to redeem ourselves with Hackney. Off the Parker, catches the ball in the end zone. Touchdown Trojans. Hackley now ties Patrick Myers' record for most, touch, most touchdowns thrown in the game. And then we got the commissioner. 30 inches. Gordon. Cuts out. Great block there by the fullback. Touchdown, USC Trojans. Look at this. Look at that beautiful blocking. Look at the fullback pick that one up. And the game is over. We put up 70 on them. Hadley only missed on five targets today. And threw for over 400 yards and seven touchdowns. Tying Patrick Myers' record. You know the record. He did that against Nebraska. When it was first announced that he was going to be the starting quarterback. Leo Ward with 116 yards, almost 10 a carry. But Brandon Jackson and Kenneth Smith had phenomenal games. Brandon Jackson with the hat trick of touchdowns, along with 133 yards, five catches. Kenneth did 111 on four, along with one touchdown. And then the story, the defense once again dominating. Everything was clicking today. 
everything. Look at that. That's a total that looks like seven sacks. And we had a total of three interceptions. One of them almost went for a pick six too. Brandon Dixon should have had a pick six on his interception. But nonetheless, the defense was absolutely phenomenal today. As you can see there, Dixon had a 44 year. I thought we was gonna score on that play. So we get another commit from Jay Temple, a right guard. Yeah, it never hurts to load up on offensive linemen. We do need some, because I think we're gonna be losing even more linemen after this season. So once again, we're looking to reload and we're looking to keep this motor going. So next time, we're back in the Coliseum. We take on the Utah Utes. It's never really easy playing Utah, but I think we'll be just fine, hopefully. Hopefully EA Sports won't play us. But thank you for watching. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace.